Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I wanted to record a short video to tell you a bit more about uh, advanced features for Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So here I'm uh, on this uh, Microsoft Defender for Cloud page and I navigate on the cloud security section to workload protection. You remember it's one of the components that uh, is available in uh, Microsoft Defender for Cloud. One is Cloud Security Posture Management, right? Uh, CSPM. And the second one is uh, Workload Protection. And if I look here, right, I see uh, some dashboards, uh, some of my resources, how are they protected? For example, I have one DNS subscription, uh, Key Vault, uh, App Services, Storage, um, things like that. So uh, all of them are fully covered here. Um, security alerts, I do not have any security alerts, which is a good sign. And you see um, <clears throat> on the bottom here, we have uh, advanced protection uh, area. Uh, so we have here vulnerability assessment, uh, SQL servers, just in time access. This functionality can be enabled uh, so that uh, you know admin accounts can do specific time uh, actions only within specific time period. Um, so yeah, you see IoT security, API security. So some advanced features are available. Then, uh, if I go to uh, under management to environmental settings. Uh, this is the place where I can, uh, you know, define some governance rule, uh, you know, do some onboarding areas, etc. But uh, what I wanted to show you here, so uh, I have one um, management group and my subscription. And in the subscription, right, uh, I have options that I can enable you know, of the um, workload protection. So, for example, for foundational uh, security posture management, it's a free uh, plan, right? It's already enabled here for my subscription. And then I also have an updated version created by Defender plan. For this one, I would need to upgrade, so there would be some cost associated. And then if I want to add different resources, then I would uh, look here. You see, for example, uh, if I add virtual machines to my um, Defender for uh, Microsoft uh, Defender for Cloud, uh, you know, that would cost me about $15 per month for each server. Uh, if I add app service, this price is calculated per instance. You know, for databases, uh, it would also, you know, be some additional charges. For storage, for 10,000 transactions, this would be the charge. So uh, this one, you see, I have already uh, covered. I also have uh, the one which is uh, configured for containers. But, you know, currently I have zero containers, but if I create a new uh, Kubernetes service with container, then uh, they would be protected, and this is how much it would cost. So $7 per month per core, uh, Key Vault. So you get the idea, right? We have different resources, different types of resources that we can add uh, to um, to Defender for Cloud to, to do some onboarding. And when the resources are added, um, you know, this would be the cost. You can also go to uh, Azure calculator to, to calculate some costs, but you know, uh, from here it's also visible. So then we can uh, go to select notifications. So normally by default, the owner would receive notifications. And if I have some other people like uh, someone from security, I can add a distribution group uh, here in this addresses. And I also have what's called workflow automation. So if I click on add a workflow automation, see I can create some kind of automation um, with a trigger condition. 
So uh, if, if the security alert is triggered, then, you know, I would do the following actions. I can also add a logic app. You know, logic app is, is kind of a good way to automate where you can si uh, write different logics. Some if this happens, then do the following action. So trigger, condition, and action would be part of the logic app that could be added. But of course, logic app costs something. So, you know, just to make sure you're aware that some costs will occur here. And there is also continuous export. If you have a log analytic workspace, then you can uh, export it to a specific log analytic workspace. These are the options that could be exported, right? For example, secure score, security recommendations, and um, how uh, often it should be exported. So what if, if it's a continuous export, uh, right? And then uh, where it would go. So it, it, you could export it to a um, hub, event hub, or you can export it to log analytic workspace. You could also do some integrations with a third party SIM, so security solutions. And uh, that's kind of, you know, what, what we have currently, right? Um, so that's, that's what I wanted to show you today. Um, once again, to summarize, if you look here um, on the environmental settings, this is the place where you can see, you know, what could be onboarded, how much it would cost. And under workload protections, you would get a dashboard with um, information about your resources and the current state of your um, workload protection service. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Stay healthy. Bye bye.